What started with the project to add a little light to dark underpasses and public art to downtown is now a community enhancing force in Lynn. The nonprofit group Beyond Walls is commissioning huge murals that bring people together, attract visitors, and boost business. And as I found out from tonight's change maker, Beyond Walls founder Al Wilson, the group's also helping in times of need. This took them five days, all in spray paint. Look up, and you may see Lynn in a whole new light. He's doing his background now. The organization Beyond Walls commissions huge, vibrant street art. Al Wilson founded the nonprofit, forming a team committed to energizing Lynn's public spaces. They started in 2016 with a vision and a challenge. We couldn't point to any one of us ever doing anything like what we were proposing. So you were asking people to sort of take a leap of faith with you? Yeah. At the same time, he was leaping. Al, a tech sales and operations leader, had no background in art or nonprofit work. And yet... It was just, it was some magic. There was something really special. And then it's a really great team in a great community. He gave himself a year. But six years and 86 murals later, he proudly shows off spaces over parking lots, pathways, and plazas that reflect Lynn's diversity in living color. We've brought artists, internationally acclaimed artists, in from all around the world. What difference does that representation make? Like, how does that translate? I think it's big. I think it's, you know, for folks to see that they're, they're seen, you know, they're heard, they see their culture on a wall, and they feel represented. Good job. Returning artists Kevin Lido and Samantha Robison just completed one of five new works. Do You Realize is a call to action for the environment and a collaboration with members of Girls Inc. People walk by us and they're like, oh, thank you so much, we love what you do. And uh, yeah, so it feels really supported by the local people and I think that's really nice. That's not always the case uh, when you're painting a wall. The message I hope people take from this is that our futures depend on what you do now. A lot of youth today are really passionate about it because it's their future that's involved in, 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 this, in this issue. An empowering expression for teens like Lynn English student Fadilat Amasu. How does it feel to be a part of this project? It feels amazing because I love advocating about the environment. The environment's a recurring theme. The world-renowned Portuguese artist Bordalo II created these 3D pieces using trash collected in Lynn. They went up in 2019. Seven months later, the world changed, and Beyond Walls trained its creative lens on addressing the COVID crisis. This is our Beyond Walls hand washing station. Teaming up with Lynn Tech students, the group built a hundred of these foot pump coil warmed hand washing stations for sites all over Massachusetts and New Hampshire. You're now a force in the community for addressing challenges. The team and the and the nonprofit can operate as a sort of speedboat at times, right? We're not a cruise ship. The community defines the need and then we react. He says relationships are the key to success with the artists donors who supply funding, time and materials, and residents connecting with the work and one another. They start a conversation and they take in the art. There's no rules to take in this art. There's no barrier of entry. There's no cost. That's special and that's community development. And then there's obviously economic development. Every corner you, you feel in the, the art is so different. The art is uh, the most important for the, the community. It's made the biggest difference. Yeah, made it. Restaurant manager Roberto Lantigua says the murals are an attraction that is boosting business. So it's real and lifted the whole thing. Oh, of course, positive, 100%. Uh, it's, uh, because it's uh, beautiful. Lynn has real industrial roots. The female um, workforce played a huge role in these factories. Al proudly points to Lynn's past as inspiration. Do you ever think you'd know so much about Lynn history? <laughs> Well, I, I love Lynn, but no, I didn't, I didn't know I'd geek out on it the way I have, yeah. <laughs> His enthusiasm is contagious. Beyond Walls is now Beyond Lynn, bringing new life to old buildings in 11 Massachusetts cities. And that, he says, makes communities stronger by design. I think anything that brings people together can facilitate change. There's always a need for that other artist to make sure that the kids in a classroom that are studying this art, they see themselves in the art. That's what drives us.
It really is incredible. Now, this summer's street art tour is about to move into Haverhill, so there are going to be five new murals going up there between September 15th and the end of this month. And Beyond Walls is accepting applications for 2024 and 2025. Right now, we have all the information on our website, WBZ.com. The size of them, that's what I got out of that. Like three, four stories tall, just incredible. And so intricate. I mean, wow. and everywhere you look. Seems like a really good guy. It was great to spend the day with him.